come back, which we need a lot of. Beautifully said. Um, what can we do on the campaign trail briefly? And then finally, I, I know you've written a piece today. It's on your congressional site. It's also on Infowars.com about uh, forced uh, drug uh, mm -hmm. uh, research where they're trying to psychologically screen the kids. Internet kill switch admitted in the Washington Post. All of this is happening. But what can we do uh, to ensure that you win in Iowa, Congressman, in closing? Well, let's continue to do what we're doing. And uh, if they're not involved, anybody. He's not involved want to go to uh, Ron Paul 2012 and uh, find out because people can phone from home. Uh, they certainly can raise funds. People can are going out to Iowa. There's activity, but there's a lot of electronic uh, uh, activity going on, you know, with uh, automatic phoning and different things. That fun. This is uh, very, very important. So uh, we're, we're in the last the lap here right now, so it's very important that we get maximum effort made. I was about to say, now is the time for the maximum effort, and certainly I'm glad you ran again. Look at the incredible effect you and others have had since your last run four years ago. You've got a real shot if people believe and take action. C Congressman Ron Paul, thank you so much for spending time with us, and go with God. Thank you, Alex. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Wow, there goes Congressman Ron Paul joining us today. What an amazing interview. I got to most of my questions, uh, but I wanted to ask him, of course, and next time we have him on, uh, I'm going to ask him, what's going to happen if he doesn't win? I mean, what's going to happen if the New World Order continues? The world government's now admitted. You can't be laughed at anymore about banker takeovers with Time and Newsweek saying, Bank of the World, you know, Goldman Sachs takes over Europe, austerity for all. Uh, Internet kill switches, the Washington Post last night, headline, Internet kill switches here. Uh, the Hill newspaper, selective Internet kill switch. I mean, it's here. EAS alert takeover yesterday on major phone systems with, with government announcements. I mean, they're really getting us ready for it. Uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, here's the headline, MPAA head Chris Dodd on online censorship bill, China's the model. How many years did I write articles with the headline? This is the weekly standard. How many times did I write the headline in articles that it's China is the model? This is the Chinese model. There's the weekly standard. Uh, here's another one. Google chairman says online piracy bill would criminalize the Internet. That's the Hill. Here's overkill on Internet piracy. Washington Post goes on to say it is an Internet kill switch. Here's another one. Internet privacy bill, a bill to kill free speech, a free speech kill switch. That's the Hill as well. Wow, incredible. That was our interview with Congressman Ron Paul. You are insane. If you don't get behind Ron Paul, you are under mind control if you don't believe he can win. I heard Jeff Ward yesterday, local top talk show host in his time slot on 590 that we're on as well. Good guy, former UT kicker, you know, NFL guy, smart guy, teaches at UT. And I heard him say, too bad Ron Paul can't win because I really like him. And callers called in and said, they say he can't win. He goes, yeah, the establishment doesn't want him. That's a mind trick. That's a mind game. And I hear national hosts saying it, other local hosts. I see it everywhere. This mantra of them saying you can't have freedom. That's like an enemy psyop to say you can't win. You have been defeated. We are the Borg. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Your resistance is futile, tyrants. All your high-tech crud and all your mind control and all your semantical manipulations fail the minute people are awake to your scam. Doesn't matter how fancy it is anymore. When you know it's an illusion, the illusion falls. And it's time for people to break that trance. It's time for people to come out of your trance and wake up. Get behind Ron Paul, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear the energy in his voice. Get behind liberty, because win, lose, or draw, we win, because resistance is victory. Okay, I'll do a little bit of overdrive, because I want to get to people that are holding at least. I appreciate you calling. Uh, we just got a photo in of Santa Claus getting a TSA pat down. That's going to go up at Infowars.com, premiering there, sent to us by a listener. That'll go up in the next 10 minutes. Uh, if you're watching us on screen, you can see it. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's got 128,000 views. You can actually put the headline in and hit search on it. It'll show you the real number, about 150,000 views. Of a video I aired last Friday night on InfoWars Nightly News, John Corzine spills his guts to Alex Jones. And I did a little f fake interview with, with myself as John Corzine. It's obviously satire. <clears throat> a, people say, Alex is trying to fool us. It's not really... 
uh, Corzine, no kidding, I sped his voice up like a chipmunk. Then they say, it's anti-Semitic. He has a black hat and a beard. John Corzine is Italian. His name's Italian. And, and banker, you know, the Monopoly men wear a little hat and has a beard, plus Corzine does. So they try to invent stuff. Now, I see this more and more. They froze the view count, and that happens normally with caching, but it didn't happen with other big videos. It happened with our videos. But the proof is the videos in the most viewed area of news and politics have less views in the last two days than we do. And the listeners are noticing it. One commenter, uh, Buck PWNZ, Buck Pond, says 123,000 now, and it's not the most viewed, yet a video from the 8th is in 5th place with less views. What a joke. Yeah. And there are videos up there that have had like 50,000 views in two days that are there. And then here's ours in two days. We'd like double that. And, and, and of course, you can, again, enter the search term into general YouTube and actually get a closer number. And if it is a YouTube malfunction, which it may well be, why is it happening to me and not other folks? The, you know, the point is, is that routinely, every day we've got videos that should be on the front page and they're not. And I know that that makes them, instead of getting 200, 300,000 views, they get a million or two. So I know why they don't like it. I remember one time Obama deception got a million views in one day on one channel, and you could see the algorithm it was going to probably get about two, four million, you know, maybe 20, 30, 40 million when it hits that zeitgeist. They just erased it for two weeks. And, 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 and it was a record that we didn't do it. They had to restore it. So we try to make stuff for free, give it to you. The prisonplanet.tv subscribers see it first and finance our outreach to you, and they, and they don't want you to see that. Uh, so uh, John Corzine spills his guts to Alex Jones. It's up on our YouTube channel. Get it out to everybody. They're, they don't like this video for whatever reason. You know, I told you this was coming years ago because I read Toyota and others talking about it. But here it is. Daily Mail. No more talking behind the wheel. Scientists develop system that can shut down your cell phone while you're driving. And, of course, it also tracks everything you're doing. Doubles the surveillance. Uh, here's CNN Today. NTSB recommends full ban on use of cell phones while driving. They're the folks that cover up most government terror attacks. Federal accident investigators Tuesday called for a nationwide ban on the use of cell phones or text messaging devices while driving, which sounds reasonable. But that should be a local law and locally enforced. Let me tell you, you're four or five times more likely, they admit, with texting to kill people than drunk driving. It is dangerous. I mean, I see people all the time swerving, and I pull up and look. Because, you know, I don't need to see something say something. I know if somebody's out of control dangerous, I am going to drop a dime on them. Because I don't want them killing my family. And they're always on a phone. Just like texting while they're driving 80 miles an hour. Dangerous. But again, we don't need the feds doing that. We have jurisdictions for a reason. Very, very serious situation. Again, here's Apple iTunes flaw allowed government spying for three years. It's in the international regulations. They have these back doors built in. We got two articles now up at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. One headline deals, of course, uh, with Ron Paul saying what we all know but needs to be said. Ron Paul, Fast and Furious, is a criminal false flag. Get it out to everybody. The audio and video now posted. And Ron Paul, defense bill establishes martial law in America. Okay, I went into overdrive to take some of your calls. I'm going to really work this week on having some hours that are open just to take calls because I always love talking to you and the points you raise. Let's try to jam in three of them right now. Kyle in Tennessee, then Justin and Chris. That's all we have time for. Kyle, thanks for holding. Hi, Alex. It's uh, great to be on today. Um, it's a privilege to be on your show. Um, I thought Ron Paul was going to be on today so I could ask him some questions, but uh, that's okay. Um, there's a couple of things I was wanting to talk about that could uh, help Ron Paul uh, do better uh, in the debates. And uh, one was that um, it just seems like I hear a lot of times from my friends that, you know, this false information that, oh, Ron Paul's anti-Semitic or uh, he's anti-defense. That's all I hear a lot of times. And uh, for me, the best thing Ron Paul could do was just in one of these debates say, hey, if, Ron Paul, if Iran is a threat to our national security, that I'm going to get a declaration of war from the Congress, and I'm going to go blow him up and get it over with and stuff. And exactly. The, the issue is he will not play politics like Rand. Rand is a patriot, has been blocking all this tyranny, but he'll at least play that patty cake in the system 
kind of backed off a little bit because he'll he'll at least say things like that. Ron Paul won't even do that because he knows Iran wants to be our friend. He knows our government's overthrown him not once, not twice, but three times and is blowing stuff up. And he just will not play politics. He will not do it. And, and, and in a way, that makes him even more admirable. And if folks want to say that we shouldn't go attack countries so we're anti-Semitic, let them say it. You know, people just use that, and I'm just sick of it. Again, and I appreciate your call. The globalists love to call people anti-Semitic because a lot of times it makes them mad because they weren't, and then they start bashing Israel because they, they don't want measured criticism. They want to make it all nasty. Okay, that, that plays into the whole trap. Uh, so uh, Again, I don't like a lot of things Israel does, but I don't like a lot of things China or Russia or the U.S. does or England does. I don't dislike people in England. And so I've criticized Israel when they do bad things, which they do do, but I don't hate Jews. You see, that's the difference. And, I mean, it's the same thing across the board. And, and so that's why the white supremacists and others hate me, not just because they're federally controlled, but because they know I don't hate people, you know, for their race or religion. And, and, and I reasonably criticize, and the system doesn't like that. Uh, Chris in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. Go ahead. Okay, uh, just real quick, I, uh, I had a situation today that came up. My daughter went to, uh, my daughter's uh, eight months pregnant, and she went to the OBGYN, and every time she's gone there, she They're telling her to take the flu shot, which on the insert says you're not supposed to do. Every single time. And they tell her it's safe, it's safe. Well, today, I, I've... Yeah, when she has a miscarriage, they'll, they'll I mean, again, the doctor's brainwashed and does what they're told. But it is a eugenics operation, and they always said until three years ago, never give a pregnant woman a shot. It causes an autoimmune response, it causes brain damage, causes genetic problems, or causes miscarriage. Period. And when when my daughter asked her, okay, tell me what's in the flu shot, because I've, I've trained her well. They will the lie doctor, and say there's not the Marisol, even though there is. They, what she told her, she, did, she didn't tell her anything. She told her, she said, I get many emails every day telling me to make sure my pregnant mothers get vaccinated. That's what she told my daughter. Yeah, it's a giant but, PR thing where they know we're waking up. The numbers show it. So they're trying to cram it down our throat. Hallmark, I never even covered it last week, has little cards about better vaccinate your little sweetie. They're coming out with hundreds of shots that they get vaccine liability protection on trying to push. And it's on purpose. You know how many girls they're going to kill in Mexico with this for, with this forced Mexican inoculation of the Mexican girls? There ought to be a revolution down there over this. The, the thing that infuriates me is is that she goes to her doctor, and on her doctor's form, they say patient refuses flu shot. She's branded uh, as someone who is it's total uh, crud, sir. Exactly. I mean, look, look, look. She needs to bring literature in and educate them. You need to go in there with her. Is there anything we can do? I mean, can we sue them for harassment? I mean, they told her today that from now on, every single time she comes in, she will be asked to get a flu No, job. no, no. It's all part of pressuring. Listen, in California, they just signed a law three months ago where they're going to shoot kids up without parental consent. I mean, the government knows we're waking up, so they're coming in with both feet on top of us trying to make us conform. Like we're a bucking horse. Get the Ron Paul interviews out to everybody. I'll see you tonight, 7 o'clock, InfoWars Nightly News, and we got reporters on the older thing here in Austin. Stay with us tonight.